Welcome to the Suerte del Molino farm, Andalusia in Spain. We are in nature. We want to understand better. We want to understand what nature wants from us. And we want to be clear on what we want from nature. Up there is the point where we have the water tank, 10,000 liters. The tank itself is two meters high. And uh, I can fill it from the well over there or from the cistern amongst the trees. I can pump it from either these two locations and fill that water tank. The distance from the water tank to this swale is 60 meters and it drops 6 meters in height from the tank to where I am right now. This swale runs east-west, west-east from the uh, creek to the western side of the property. From here towards the creek is uh, 120 meters and from here westwards two times 70 meters with the under construction pond in between. From the water tank I can run a pipe to serve the eastern side or I can run a pipe to come straight down there's actually a pipe already, 40 millimeters underground, but uh, I can't find it. I'll have to do some copper wire dowsing. But it runs from the tank towards the house. And then <clears throat> I can also run a pipe from the water tank towards the west. So the first question I have and this is for mainly for Steve. He has already been so kind to send me lots of information but he's on his way to a much deserved holiday in Europe. So I thought let me annoy him now. If I bring the water down here, 40 millimeter pipe, and then a pipe to the left, to the right. But how many emitters? I have a tree every meter at least, because I have the fruit trees, and then a um, nitrogen fixing plant in between I have a 32 millimeter pipe already so I assume I will not put this up on the berm and put emitters in it because I need to water shorter sections and instead of just watering the whole area, I don't have enough pressure for that. So my question, I have this 32 millimeter pipe. <coughs> what is the next thickness of pipe I should run alongside this one? I'm making my way towards the east of the property. There's the water tank. A pipe can run from there to here. Here we have 
two sets of swales each of them is a hundred meters long one starting here and then one below the fence um, I plan a third one to come up here so each of them will be a hundred meters long and this area is between this higher end will be eight meters below the water tank and then 10 and then 12 meters below the water tank the height of the water tank this is towards the east I'm making my way towards the west this is uh, the highest swale the one I indicated in the beginning <coughs> this is the pond under construction it was quite fun to get myself in there get stuck get out get stuck get out but it's happening same as on the east three different sets of swales this is the highest one this area here some swales here and then it connects to another swale through there the one we have just seen is minus six meters from the water tank level and this one is minus 11 I'll just walk to that extension of this I'm clearing more existing anthenas amongst the cistus brush it's a big job but I like it so this is the same height the swale also going to the west this is the lowest area on the farm <coughs> minus 11 up to minus 20 meters below the water tank <coughs> here I have several swales more than a hundred meters The lowest part of the property is in that corner, minus 20 meters below the water tank. And then some swales. There are many of them here. And uh, the one on top there is minus 13. So this area, quite a steep drop. And then another 100 meters or so of swales within the garden, below the house. I have about 600 meters of 32 millimeter pipe and I have 150 meters of 40 millimeter pipe I now have to decide 
do I run three pipes from the tank and then split them into smaller pipes for the emitters I'm not too sure I need some help this is what we have I don't want to water by hand this coming dry season that was much too much work I'm looking forward to an automated system the water here is very calcium rich emitters will clog up very easily even the taps inside the house clog up regularly I have to once a week I have to decalcify them so it will not be a walk in the park but it will be a walk to open up blocked emitters all the time that's okay a typical scenario is a tree for shade in a nitrogen fixer mostly moringa in a shade tree and then in this case another shade tree the roble americano this is an oak i have planted and this pattern carries on here it's a tree every meter an oak a pomegranate three prom pomegranates a moringa And it just carries on so I will need a lot of emitters okay I have started my thinking process I want to be ready by March so let the work begin till next time goodbye